Right now at 11, firefighters battling a two-alarm fire in West Knoxville. We're hearing from officials as the investigation into the cause of the fire now gets underway. Thank you for joining us tonight. Getting straight to our top story, firefighters responding to a massive fire on Courier Lane off North Shore Drive. Smoke reportedly seen from as far away as downtown Knoxville and UT's campus. In fact, many of you are reaching out to us because you saw the towering smoke and flames as well. Six on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel bringing us now more on the situation tonight. Fire crews spending the majority of this evening battling a fire that engulfed an abandoned multi-story building off of North Shore Drive. The scene much more active earlier in the evening. Take a look here at some video that was sent in to us by viewers. You can see here big flames and thick clouds of smoke shooting up into the air. Firefighters say reports came in from as far away as the downtown area. Crews from Rural Metro and the Knoxville Fire Department working together to put out this fire because it is on the city county line. And just after they arrived, a KFD spokesperson tells us the top three floors of the abandoned structure collapsed. And he explains what happened next. Literally flames were shooting about 100 to 120 foot in the air. Uh, for car 83 that was the instant commander that was here on the scene. So it was a lar large fire when it was reported, a large fire when we showed up. So it had a head start on us, so we went totally defensive on the fire. Because of the radiant heat, we're told the fire easily spread to a nearby wooded area. A second alarm was called in for additional equipment and manpower. We also know one Knoxville firefighter did suffer from heat exhaustion on scene, but he did not have to go to the hospital. Reporting in Knoxville, Elizabeth Kubel, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Elizabeth, thank you very much. By the way, at this time, the cause of the fire still not known. The Knox County Sheriff's Office says its fire investigation unit is now on the scene. All right, let's get you up to